Call from RoboTax. Call from RoboTax. Hello, calls to RoboTax are being screened by Smart Call Blocker. Please say your name after the tone, then press pound. Hello, calls to RoboJax are being screened by Smart Call Blocker. If you're a family member, friend, or invited caller, please press pound to be connected. If you're a solicitor, please hang up now. Hello, calls to this number are being screened by Smart Call Blocker. Please say your name after the tone, then press pound. Hey, this is RoboJax. Please wait a moment while your call is connected. Call from... Hey, this is RoboJax. So, let's answer it. To answer the call, press 1. To answer and always allow this number, press 2. To block this number, press 3. To send this call to the answering system, press 4. To repeat these options, press star. In this video, we're going to have a look at this AT&T 4 handset answering machine cordless phone system. This is the model CL82407. This 4 refers to 4 handset and there is 3 and 2 version of this. So just number of handset changes. I'm going to explain it fully so how you can use it. All the features of this will be explained. And let's get started with this. This is a detailed video, explains everything. Nothing is left behind, so watch everything so you have no questions. When you come back, you can use chapters to see different sections of the video. Click on this area of the player so you can see all the chapters. On your mobile device, you will see the menu. When you touch it, you see all the chapters and then click to move to that section of the video. I have no affiliation with AT&T or any other store. I've purchased it from my own money and I'm going to explain it fully. So make sure to subscribe. And let's have a look at the topics quickly. What are we covering in this video? I will show you main features of the phone. Then I'm going to do unboxing and then I'm going to show you set date and time. Wall mount will be shown, voicemail and voicemail indication will be shown, renaming handsets will be shown, ringtone, keytone and volume level, home area code setting will be shown, quiet mode, sleep mode will be shown, calling and speaker phone and mute will be shown, redial and caller ID, equalizer, chain dialing for uh, calling card and bank card to be entered easily, so caller ID time set, call transfer, intercom, uh, PTT will be shown, directory and search name will be shown fully, and then call log will be explained, and then smart call blocker, which is the most important feature, will be explained fully with examples. Answering system will be explained, voice memo that you can leave a message for a family member, and adding or registering handset also will be explained. If you want to purchase this phone, the link is below the video in the description. This is one of the best phones that you can get, especially in this era where you will get a lot of spam calls initiating from overseas. So this has smart call blocker plus the tons of other features. I'm going to explain the phone fully and give you examples very long. So please use chapters. First, I'm going to explain the features of this phone. Then I'm going to do the unboxing and show you what is in the box. After that, I'm going to demonstrate all the features one by one. Let's get started with this. This is at and TLC82407 answering system that can have according to manual. It says it can have up to 12 handsets. And when you see the four here on the model, it refers to the four handset. And if you see three handsets, this will be three. And then if you have two handsets, this number will be 82207. The most important feature of this one is Smart Call Blocker or SCB, which blocks unwanted spam calls that you receive daily. 
and then it has a directory that can store up to 50 phone numbers and names and this will be common between all handsets. Once you set a phone number on one handset, all the four or whatever number of handsets you have will have access to it. This is based on DACT6. DACT refers to Digital Enhanced Cordless Communication. This is a protocol which has very crisp, clear sound. The answering system that this has will have capacity of total of 22 minutes and you can have maximum of 99 messages, meaning it will not be one minute each, so you will have few seconds. The total will be 99 and each message can be maximum of three minutes. And you can have a greetings of 90 seconds or one and a half minute to say something before people leave a message. This answering system can be accessed remotely with all the features. And then this phone also can access your voicemail from your service provider. If the service is available in your area, the voicemail indicator will display on the screen telling you that there is a voicemail. The voicemail will be shown like this and also you will see the text new voicemail and each handset can be named for example you can name them living room bedroom the woods room whatever name that you want you can put up to 15 characters for the name and we have handset locator where you can press a button and all the handset will ring and you will find them all if they're under the couch or somewhere so this is a great feature and you can also do call transfer where you receive a call and you can transfer it to any handset you want that you have. Uh, other features of this is an intercom where you can call each device inside your home or business so the phones can communicate and also the phones can be used as walkie-talkie where you can call between these phones only when needed and when you press push to talk or PTT button so they can act like that and this feature can be one to one or one to multiple up to four devices can be called together so you can say something and all four will hear it and this has a lot of application in some workplace or business applications as well. If we look at the smart call blocker they have included two or three brochures it seems many people are not understanding it. First we have to understand that we have a block list so all the calls that are blocked under this list they will appear and then we have allow list people who are under this category their call will go through and then you have star name list star name list I'm going to explain it next with certain names they will pass through and then the, there are calls without numbers so you will receive a call with the, which they don't have number and also you can uncategorize calls. The block list are those phones, numbers or phones, the phone will not ring. So immediately they will be rejected and you can have up to 1000 entries. So name and number can be stored and you can edit or delete them so you can use caller ID if a call is received so you can put them under block and you will never hear from them again. And then you have allowed list. Allowed list, you can have up to 200 entries. These are not in your phone directory, but you have it under allowed list. You will not call them, but if they call, you will receive them. So you can have phone, a name and number for those phones. And you can also select them from caller ID when you receive a call, then you can add them in the allow list. So now let's talk about star name list. Store name is uh, used when you have list of organization. Let's, let's say a drugstore school or something. You can put a portion of the name or just beginning of the name and it will recognize it and but you don't know the phone, their numbers. So for a, for a school or some, something else, this will allow those calls to go through. And you can have up to 10 names. For example, just portion of the name, drag, and any company with a drugstore phone a number call will pass through and each can have up to 15 characters and you can also select them from caller ID as well. Then you will receive calls that they don't have a number. So you can block these calls, allow them or 
forward them to answering system all the time if the call does not have a number. So you can apply these conditions or you can forward them to screening. And that is where fun begins. And then we have uncategorized. Uncategorized, which will not fit amongst those, you can block the call, you can allow it, you can forward them to answering system, and also you can have screening for this. So for screening, we have something called screen announcement. And this screen announcement will apply where you receive a phone call that is out of your area because you will enter your area code number on the phone in US, Canada, and many other European countries. You have specific area code for phone. And if you receive a call which is not within your area, uh, area, so they will be facing screen announcement or if the call is private, sometimes people call private, so you can assign it to the screen announcement or the phone that you receive a call from is not in your list or it's the caller is not in your star name list. So if, if any of these four categories applies to a call, you can forward them to screen announcement. For the screening option, you can have something that it will say, please press hash sign or number sign. And in this case, if the call is from computer or is, if it's a robocall, it will be blocked. Hello, calls to Robojex are being screened by smart call blocker. If you're a family member, friend, or invited caller, please press pound to be connected. If you're a solicitor, please hang up now or it will say, please say your name. Hello, calls to Robojex are being screened by smart call blocker. Please say your name after the tone, then press pound. The spammers will not say their name. Even if they say it, you know that there's nothing to do with you. So you can reject the, the call like that. Let's open it and see what we have. Quick start guide with the wall mount bracket. Two more battery covers and batteries are here. So, so this is the phone cable, handset, and then for each phone we have this base. And the power adapters are already plugged in, so you know how to do it. That's why they are attached. This is the main base. And then we have this full manual. The battery is uh, nickel metal hydrate, 400 milliampere hour. The capacity and it's 2.4 volts, meaning if someday this dies and you cannot find this battery, you can replace it with any 4.2 volts. So let's plug this in. And then... Make sure it fits. And let's have a look at this base uh, module first. So I'm plugging the power in here. And then you have to, you can put your wire through these holes so it can hold it and it cannot be pulled. Safer phone jack in here. So there is nothing else for the base. This one will be connected to the wall. Please click on the subscribe. It's appreciated. Now I've zoomed in so you can see the phone better. We have this answer button where you press the and answer the phone and hang up with this one. And these two also have other features as you can see cancel and also flash when you receive a call or second call call waiting you can press this and then we have menu which is select and also redial when i press this we have 
some options which I'm going to go through that and then redial which will allow you to see that phone numbers that you dialed this button this is only up and down we don't have left and right so when you press it down you will see caller ID or CID and then you can scroll through that and if you press this up it will be directory right now it shows empty because I've not added anything it says add contact to exit just press this button screen as you see we see voicemail and also it says new voicemail and handset number on the left we see the amount of charge of the uh, battery and then the time and the date that's a month and the day at the bottom we have the speakerphone when you press this now those beeps that you heard because of the, my voicemail it first beeps to inform you that you have a voicemail and also then you have call block dedicated button and also mute or delete which will be used a lot key number one is for your voicemail where you purchase the voicemail service from your phone provider and you can assign direct access to this button this cannot be used but as a speed dial so the rest are available except this one on this side we have ptt this is for push to talk where i'm, where I'm going to explain it next the speaker is on this side microphone is at the bottom and you can delete it using this button or press this escape or repeat and then also you can increase the volume you you see, I reduce it. You have no messages. You have no messages. So this volume can increase also the volume of that speaker, the voicemail, and the ringer. So that's six. Base ringer is off. When you set it to zero, it will be off. This button is to turn. So that's good it, it, because this light would not help you if, you if it's on or off what it, what it means Calls will be answered. so this red most of the time you would think it's off because we expect red always stand by but that's good they, they announce it and also with this one fine handset if I press this all the handsets will ring and as soon as you press any button this will cancel so that's very nice feature calls will not be answered now let's have a look at the features of this phone when I press menu it says play message so this arrow is there if I press this again you have no messages so the speaker will play the message and if you want to do some settings you can go down and this arrow shows that you have selected answering system and press this you can see announcement if you want to go to the previous menu just press this button it will go one menu back press it again it will exit so this is very good way to cancel or exit from a menu now let's press this again go down and then if you scroll down you will see it's more call block which we have options i'm going first through that we can see directory you can see caller id log you can see intercom and ringers set date and time and settings after that web address play message so we are at the end of the list now let's go to the settings and press select as you can see we can set the lcd language let's select see english spaniel francis so three languages perhaps depending on the region you might see different languages i'm not sure so these languages applies to north america canada us and mexico so and then set the language it just confirms caller id announcement call from robo hex so you can set the caller id you can turn it on and off by going base only the base will an, um, announce it or the local handset or all of the all of them on and off if you go all of them on and off you can see here on or off so let's set it on 
and then back back so let's go to the setting and then go down voicemail number Now let me show you how we can set the time. Press a menu, go down until you see settings, set date and time. And here it asks for the month. You can go up and down. Once you're done, press, press menu, it goes to the day. So you can select the day that you want. And here the year 21 and after that you will see the time and here's 9 and then 10 and once it goes to this next one go up and down am or pm and the two beeps confirms that the date and time is set so the time and date will be set on all devices it will be displayed here at the bottom you can also set the time using the caller ID when user calls the time stamp comes with that so let's see go to the menu go to settings and here and from the settings scroll down until you see CID CID time sync once you select this it says on or off if you turn it on and exit whatever time now it, it says 703 let me call Confirm. so the time is set my phone number is saved in the directory let me dial and see how it announces So as you saw after two rings it started announcing so first ring did not announce second ring did not announce after that on the third third one you could hear the name now let's see how we can set voicemail number so you will get your voicemail number from your phone provider here it says star 98 in majority of service providers this will be the number that you dial to access your mail voice mailbox but it might be different depending on the uh, service provider so in my case it's also star 98 let's press uh, menu go down until you see settings and then scroll down voicemail number and then select here it says what is the number if you want to delete just press this delete i'm pressing it as you can see it is changed so star i'm pressing the star and then nine eight and then that's my number and saved so now once you save it i can press exit and exit so the voicemail is set i can press this button and hold it it brings that number and dials Please enter your pin, followed by the pound key. so this is my voicemail provider you have nine new messages press one to listen to your new messages press two to listen to your saved messages you have nine new messages received so this way you can listen to the options to play uh, fast forward save or delete your voicemail which is uh, different from provider to provider when once you listen to it you will understand it the missed call feature will allow you to see old and new missed calls and it will show us missed call so you can press this log come down and it will show you this how many you have 
and the call that is new you will see new if I scroll down and go and come back that new will disappear because I have already seen it and you can also save or call back from call log when you go down for example we have one entry here and we have this number once you see it on the screen just press this button to just call that number so once you're on the screen press menu and then it says save to directory to allow block star name or any of these options that you have caller ID log selected you can review them if I press menu it will be displayed and you can go up and down to select it I can press this menu to go back and delete all if I select delete all select it says delete all calls just confirm with this and it says now it's empty if I go and review it should say caller ID log empty and the same way uh, I moved from one phone to the office if I go to menu and then caller ID log review you will see that it says empty because once we empty, empty it on from one phone all of them will be emptied currently I'm on one call if I receive a second call uh, that service is provided by majority of the providers as call waiting so while the person is on the call you can press this flash so just press this flash and this person the first person will be held and the second phone will be connected once you're done with this person just press flash again that person will be disconnected and you return back to the original calls that you initiated now let's rename the handsets so we can recognize them better press menu go down settings and then from this menu rename handset select so this is the handset that we have so you can have handset and with a number or simply just press delete so we can delete the whole thing and let's say uh, living room I'm pressing L twice three times until I see L and then the cursor moves I I'm pressing this I until I see I V this T U V I'm pressing it multiple times and then if I make mistake just press delete and then press I just go N and then G living and then for space press zero wait it takes about a second for the cursor to move room R O and then wait for the cursor to move and then living room and then safe so this handset have been renamed if I press off and you will see it says living room and still it shows the number because the handsets are also numbered and here I renamed this to kitchen Home area code is to identify local calls from long distance calls and this will apply and work only when in an area that you enter only seven digits in uh, US and Canada we enter only seven digits uh, to make local calls but if we enter the area code which is usually three digits then it will be 10 digits in that case but in some cities or areas people enter 10 digits in every call that they make for that purpose it doesn't work and it doesn't matter but in case if you want to set the home area code here is how you do it press menu go to settings select and then go down home area code home area code and here it says only for the seven digit in our case our home area code is 905 and you enter the digit uh, 
by punching the key. I can delete it, 905, and then erase selected. So remember, if you're entering 10 digits, it will not work and it's not useful. Now let's see how we can use speed dial. Speed dial is when you assign a number to a key, in this case from key 2 to 9 and 0. Key 1 is already assigned to voicemail, so you cannot assign a number to it. So press menu, go down until you see directories, press select, speed dial selected, and now it says 2 is unassigned, 3, all of them. As you can see, 8, 9, and then 0, and then it stops, and there is no 1. Let's say you want to assign something to key number 2, and here I want to assign this Ajax Harwood, select it. Now it shows 2 assigned, so you can go to the next one and assign the same way. If you, for example, assigned a number here, let's say this bank card is assigned, and you want to delete it back, press this delete on this screen, speed dial empty, and as you can see, it was emptied, only we have two. And to use speed dial, just press the number that you have from two to nine and zero, just press the number, for example, two, and it goes to the screen and already dials. Now we are, we are enhanced it. You can go to speaker if you want, in speaker phone mode. Thank you for calling the Ajax Harwood Clinic. We can set quiet mode. The quiet mode is a feature that you set this to be quiet between 1 to 12 hours, and during that period, PTT will be disabled and the phone will go and all the calls that you receive based on the settings of smart call blocker will go to the voicemail and you will not hear any ring. So to do that, uh, we have to hold the quiet button here. This is a quiet. Let's hold it. I'm holding it. And you can see it says quiet. And it, now we can punch in the number here, or we can go with this up and down. You can go up to 12 hours maximum. You see after 12, it will turn back. So you cannot have minute or anything. You can just say, for example, nine hours, and then press save. Quiet is on, and you will see this symbol. Now it means that we are in quiet mode, and if we call, it will go to the voicemail. Let me test it. Now I'm calling. So RoboJax is calling, it shows, but no, no sound or anything. And voicemail is activated. Nice. To exit from quiet mode, just press this quiet and hold it, and quiet mode is off. Now let's have a look at the quiet mode. Quiet mode is when once you receive a call, you just press mute here, and it will be quiet, it will not ring, but you will be, so, so the phone will be still active. Now we receive the call, let's just press mute. And as you can see, the mute sign is there. Call from RoboJax. Actually, I'm close to the base and close to this one. So only the phone that you're pressing will go in mute mode. So the other phone will ring. Keep that in mind. So only the phone that you press this button will be muted, not all the phones. Now, while, while you're on the call, you can press this menu, and you can see equalizer. Let me select it, and you can select natural, terrible one, and then terrible two, depending on the quality or bath. 
or natural. So you can select it and listen to the audio, whichever you prefer. Just select that and it will be set. You, you will not see this option if you do not receive a call. Keep in mind that while you are on the call, when you return it and put it here, it will automatically hang up. Now let me show you when you receive a call, how can you silence only one ha handset here. I'm dialing now. When this one rings, you can just press this off. Call from 28992-30098. So when you press this, it just mutes it and other handset will ring, not this one. Now let me show you how we can select ringtone, keytone and volume. Press this menu, go down ringers and here ringer volume it shows a bar so you can reduce it this is individual each phone has each handset has its own settings and once you accept it now this is ringer tone that's tone one tone two tone three tone four Tone 7, Tone 8, Tone 9, 10, so that was 1 and 2, let's say, accepted. So that was the ringer tone, and then, and then let's see the key tone, I'm pressing this to go back, oh, I missed it, so go to settings, key tone here, when I press this, these keys that we press make sound. How loud they should be, either turn it off or very high. So let's put it at a medium. So this is how you set the key tone. While you're on the call, you can hold this person and do conference calling or bring second or third person depending on the service that you have and uh, in this case for example you're on the call with the first person after connection is established and you're talking just tell him to wait and press this flash i'm putting it in speaker so you can hear and you can dial another number and once this connection happened, this is the wrong number, but once this happened, so just press flash. Once the second call is established, just press flash, and the, that caller, the second call, will be connected to the first call. You can use the intercom feature of this phone to make calls between handsets. So to make calls, just press menu, go down, and you see intercom. Once you press this, you can select whichever number you want, or you can press the number. For example, this is number four. I can just press four, and handset number four will receive the call. So you can just dial the number. If you want to dial number between 10, 11, and 12, just press this tone, and then zero for 10, one for 11, and two for 12. We can use the phones as push to talk or walkie talkie. So you press the button PTT to talk between handsets, between two handsets or group of handsets, up to four. Let's see. So press this and you will see it says push to talk to which device you want. Device number four, let's see, four. This one, handset number four, and then select it. Now these two are paired, so we can press and then talk. Hello? Can you hear me? So when you, when you press this, you hear a beep because the communication happens. After that, you can talk. So wait for the beep to end, pay attention. Press and after the beep, we can talk. Release, so you can listen. Talk release. 
If you don't talk for a few seconds, it will exit from PTT. Just wait. So push to talk, end it. And if you receive a phone call during intercom, when the two phones are talking, if you receive a phone call, any of these phones just press by pressing the flash or phone will pick up the phone and the call intercom will be ended and the call will be connected. And when you want to make a group call, press push to talk, scroll down. On this, it says group and then select, connecting to group. So all these devices now, they are part of it, up to four can join. So when I press this, can you hear me? It shows here one, three, and four are listening. It shows one, three, and four. So that was how you can use it as a group. In the phone directory, you can uh, enter name and phone number for a person. Up to 50 numbers can be stored in a directory. Uh, let's see. To enter a phone number into directory, press menu. Go down until you see directory. Select it, and here we can add new. Speed dial and more features, but add contact. Select it. It will ask you for the number, so you can enter some number, this is just an example. Press this again, now it will ask for name. To enter the name, we can use all these keys. As you can see, we have alphabet. And if you press it once, this will be A, press it again, it goes to B, C, D. And if I press it again, it goes to lowercase. Because it was the beginning, we have capital letter, let's say, the next one, if I press it, it will be smaller one. But here, if you continuously press it multiple times, again, it goes to the larger, so you can do that. And if you just wait, the cursor moves to the next one, so you can press this other button. But if you want space, just press zero. Now wait for about a second, it moves, and then it automatically it will be capital letter, for example, T. And if I want V after that, do that. If you want to edit this, go down. It will go to the first one or to the next one and enter something different, let's say P. As you can see, it has been pushed. Here, you can press this delete to delete the number that is the character that was in front of it. Now, if I press delete, it goes backward and delete the next one. If I press this delete again, it goes. Uh, so you can enter new value, and then once you're done, just press menu. It takes like a few seconds, and it will be saved. If you want to do the review, you can see six entries, and then you can scroll up and down. If you want to delete it, just press this delete. As you can see, it says delete contact. Just press this select, and contact deleted. And for some reason, if you want to enter a number for the name of the person, then press 1, and you will see the, the 1. If I press it again, it is comma and dash. So you can enter, including the apostrophe, open parenthesis, close parenthesis, asterisk, all these are available. If you press 1, you will be able to type 1 dot comma, asterisk, open, close parenthesis, uh, apostrophe, open, close parenthesis, asterisk, hash, ampersand, forward slash, and comma. So these are all assigned to key number one. Now let's see how we can add a new number. You can add a new number in many ways, either from caller ID, you press this lower key caller ID, and you see the number, let's say you want to save this, and in this case, press menu, and it says save to directory, and here option to allow list, to block list, to store name, or whatever, let's say you want to do it with the directory. Select it, it shows the number, so let's say I'm accepting it. Select, and here you can enter a name for it. To delete it, just press this delete button. And, uh, 
Let's just name it doctor, for example, and press menu, and it is saved. To access a directory, just press this button, it goes up, it says two entries, you can see my doctor, and down RoboJack's home, and any of these, if you, let's say you want to edit this, select it, menu, edit number. So you can edit it as soon as you bring it on the screen, you can edit it. If I press this, I will exit. Here, I can dial it. Once you see it on the screen, either press this button to dial or press speakerphone. For example, a speakerphone. When you want to search for a name, press this CID. It goes at the top. And from here, we can enter a name, for example, for RoboJax, I just press R, the letter that you want. If you want R, I have to press this three times. First time it's P, second time it's Q, and then third time it's R. So, so I'm pressing P, Q, R. As soon as I press R, it says RoboJax. And if there are multiple people with the same letter R, then you can go up and down with this arrow to select them. Look at the answering system. The total recording time is 22 minutes in the memory, and we can have up to 99 messages. And each message can be maximum minutes, where you can set the length of each message in the settings. We and we can have a greeting message of 90 seconds, which is one and a half minutes. Also, you can access your answering system remotely by dialing your home phone number and entering a pen. The answering system will show the message like this. We have three messages. We can play, delete, skip to the previous one or next one or repeat it and increase or decrease. So the base volume can be increased from here as you can see. Six. Base ringer is off. But still we have three. You have three new messages and one. Old message, Thursday, 7, 28 p.m. So I just stopped it. Now let's see how we can access, it says three new messages. The same number that you saw on the base is available here. And we can press menu, as you can see, play messages is the first option that you can see. And then we can, the arrow is pointing to the play, so let's press it. and. We can play new, play old, and let's see what else we have. So only these two. So we can play new. You have three new messages. Thursday, 7, 28 p.m. So four, repeat, six, escape. Let's. Thursday, 7, 33 p.m. Friday, 6, 55 a.m. So that's the end. End of messages. So. And then if you go down, you can answering system, press it. And this is announcement. This is your greeting message on your answering system. When people call, they will hear that. This is your greeting message on your answering system. When people call, they will hear that. Play announcement or record. Let's say play it. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. So this is the announcement. And you can record your own. Um, by recording, record announcement. Record after the tone. Press 5 when you are done. I'm testing. Please leave a message. I'm testing. Please leave a message. So, that way you can record. Or, if you don't like it, you can do reset announcement. Select and reset Default announcement, it says, press select, which, mean, which means yes. You can see, delete all old, record memo. So if you want to leave a message for family member or something, for example, you left the key somewhere. So if the person enters, the, enters home and they will see it's blinking, so they know there is a message and uh, it will be your uh, message. So in this case, Press 5 when you are done. 
Guys, I, I'm out. I'll be back at 5 p.m. Thank you. So that way you can leave a voicemail and as you can see it shows now one because we have one new so we can turn it on and off by pressing this answer on and off we can go up down on or off so let's put it at off and then down voice guide if you activate this option then it will guide the user step by step how to set this up how to um, create greetings length of messages and all of those will be done from here so let's do that this voice guide will assist you with the basic setup of the answering system first of all you will set the outgoing announcement the preset announcement is hello please leave a message after the tone if you want to record your own announcement press seven Let's go nine. Next, you will set the answering system to answer an incoming call after two, three, four, five, or six rings or toll saver. Please enter two, three, four, five, or six for the desired number of rings or eight for toll saver. So let's say five. So I'm exiting it because you will listen to it and understand it. And now let's see answer system setup. And what else? Announcement. So answer system setup. In this case, it says call screening. For the call screening, we have one option, number of rings, and then remote code, message alert tone, recording time and then it came back to call screening when you go to call screening that is where it allows you when people leave a message so it will play it loudly so you can listen to it so that is where we can set call screening on or off i'm setting it off now let's go to the next option number of rings if you select this now it says five we can go up and down to change it let's go back next option remote code selected right now it says 54 you can enter for example 28 and beep and it accepted it message alert tone you can turn it off or turn on let's say when you turn it on every 10 seconds it beeps You see? Another beep. So that is where you can turn it off if it is bothering you. But in some cases it's very useful. And then recording time. If I press this, we can set it one minute, two minutes, or three minutes. That's the maximum. Let's set it to two minutes. And here again, we came back to call screening. So that now let me show you how to access remotely your messages. First, you have to know your code, uh, remote access code by pressing this menu, go to answering system and then answer system uh, setup. And then remote code. Here it says 48, let's set it to 29 and then press save and then number of rings, three. So I've set it to three, I'm exiting and the code is 29. When you call, it will ask you for the code, we will enter the code, the default code is 19, but after that it will play automatically. But 
press 1 to listen to all messages, press 2 to, to listen only to new messages, 3 to delete the current message while it's playing back. So it's playing, you can press 3 to delete it, and if you press 3 twice, uh, then delete old messages, 4 means repeat the current message when you hear it, and then 5 means stop the operation including recording, star 5 means listen to remote commands, so this is the remote commands that will, it will tell you, and 6 means press skip to the next message, and star 7 record a new announcement, that is your greeting if you want to replace it, press 8 to end the uh, remote access, zero to return to answering system on and off. So if you press zero, you will have on and off option. It says remote command star zero five. We are going to test it and see. I'm, now I'm calling. I will enter the code. I will enter the code. So 8 was goodbye. Star 5 was at the middle of conversation while it was playing. Star 5 will give you all the commands in case you forgot them. That was the answering system. Full explanation. This is a touch tone which means it, has, it generates DTMF, dual tone multi-frequency. But in some older uh, system, in older system, we use pulse. In case for any reason, if you need to turn the pulse, uh, let's go to the settings, press menu, and go down. And settings, select, and then go down until you see dial mode. Dial mode, selected, and here is now it's touch. If I go down, it is pulse. I can select pulse by clicking this. Now, dial mode is pulse. But if you want to change it, just press select and make it touch because our system will work with touch. We have a feature called chain dialing, which means you dial a number and after that you enter your bank card number for example, your phone card number if you are making long distance call or for example you have something else such as account and you want to make sure that you can dial it automatically from the directory. Let's see. And here while you are on the call with someone just press menu, go to directory and from directories let's say this is your bank card number and just and it will dial that number in chain dialing so you can do the same way you can have two or three chain dialing after each other if you're using pulse dialing and temporarily want to activate tone dialing you can do so with this phone so while you're on the call you can activate tone dialing by pressing this button which says tone just Press this and tone will be activated. So after that, any key you press, it, it will have tone instead of pulse. Please click on the subscribe. It's appreciated. Smart call blocker explained. I'm going to go through this. We have welcome calls, which are people in your allow list or in, in your directory or not in your block list or not in your star name list. If a call is not part of these three, so it is a welcome call and a full one ring. Then we have unwelcome calls. So if the number is in your block list, that's an unwelcome call. 
and calls without a number. Now, when you see a call without a number, so either the call is out of area because the phone will look at your area code that you set on the phone, or number is set to private, so you don't see the number. And then we have uncategorized call. So this is where we have missing caller ID, CID, or the phone number is not in your directory, or not in your allow list, or in your block list, or the calls with the name, but not in your store name list. In that case, this is called uncategorized. Now let's see what happens. If smart call blocker is off, all calls will ring. So that's as simple as that. Now what happens if smart call blocker is on? First ring will be muted because the system will take time to recognize and understand it. So the first ring will be muted and then the calls will go to screening. That's what happens. So now let's see practically if I press this call block, you will see that we have a block list. So if the call comes, either the call must be in block list or it is in the allow list. When we say allow list, those are numbers that are not in the directory, but we have just added them because the person might call again. Or we have a star name that I mentioned it. And then we have calls without the number. And then we have uncategorized, which are not amongst those. Now, if I go back, it goes to screen announcement, which is another option, and it goes back to off one on. So block list is very clear. So as soon as you block some list, you can add new entry from here. Just touch it, enter a number, and enter a name, for example. sales so that is your block block list now from this screen we can press this to go back and then we have allow list the same way you can add a number with a name to your allow list and if i press this it goes to the screen add new or review and if i press the cancel i'm, I'm coming back and then we have store name store name is those uh, drugstore or some organization that you can enter name and number the same way as before and then calls without a number so this is what happens when when you have a call without a number we can do thing either you can send them to screening or allow them or answering system or block them when we select screening option there are two options available. The caller will hear the message saying that please press pound or hash key and then the call will be connected and it will ring. So this way at least you know it's not a robocall or computer, it's just actual human. Or you can say please say your name and the name is played to you and then you will accept the phone calls. In this case, your recorded name will be played to the caller. Here, if I press call block, I'm pressing call block, go down, screening announcement. So this, if I press it, it says record your name. So here you can record your name. Record after the tone. Press 5 when you are done. Robojax. So now this will be played to the caller. Let's play it and see it. Now the message will be played in two ways. Either we will ask the user for the name or without name. If we want the caller to announce his name, so here, let's see. Your screening announcement is, hello, calls to Robojax are being screened by smart call blocker. Please say your name after the tone, then press pound. And now let's see the other option where we will not ask the caller's name. Your screening announcement. 
announcement is Hello, calls to RoboJax are being screened by Smart Call Blocker. If you're a family member, friend, or invited caller, please press pound to be connected. If you're a solicitor, please hang up now. So as you can see, we can select any of these options and that's what the user will hear. So So now that is set, if I exit, that was the screening. Now I'm pressing call block. Let's go to the calls without number. So in this case, calls without the number, we can select it and you can do a screening, allow, answering system, all block. So let's go back. Uncategorize and uncategorize. Say uncategorized call. These are the calls that are of a missing caller ID, or they are not in your directory, or not in your allow list, or not in your block list, or the call's name. The call has a name, but not in your star name list. So that's uncategorized. So if I select this, now we have these options for uncategorized. We can go for a screening, either we'll ask the user to say his name or press the pound or allow it or forward it to the answering system or block it. Now we're going back. So these are the uncategorized. Now if I press this again, let's test it. I'm going to enable the call block. We are there. Just press OK and you see it is on. I'm exiting. If you want to change it on and off, just change it so it's on. So and then exit, exit. So now I'm testing it to test it with the incoming calls, either screening or without call or uncategorized. Let's press this settings, go to on and off and make sure it is on by going up or down. So now it's on with two beeps confirmed that it is ready and calls to this number are being screened by smart call blocker the number you are calling is not accepting your call please hang up so this is a blocked call and it went to the block let's see let's check our blocked call list pressing this button we can go to block list review and it says three, one first number, second number, and then third number. This was the number that I have just called. So we can delete it by, by pressing this delete button here. Delete entry, delete it. Now we can test it and call. Now let's test the uncategorized call. This is Ahmed. Please wait a moment while your call is connected. Now we will have ring. Call from. This is Ahmed. So I press the speaker. To answer the call, press one. To answer and always allow this number, press two. To block this number, press 3. To send this call to the answering system, press 4. To repeat these options, press star. Let's repeat it. To answer the call, press 1. Okay, let's to an answer and always allow this number. Let's answer. Now we got connected. So it's just echo from the phone. Now let's test where it, uh, where it asks the user to not announce their name. I'm, I'm pressing call block, go down, uncategorize, and in uncategorize go to screening, and in screening select call without.
without name we without name means we don't ask the caller's name and it's done exit exit oh, i can dial I'm pressing pound. Please wait a moment while your call is connected. Call from two eight nine nine two. I'm answering it. Hello. So this way you can use the call screening. And here's how you install it. This is your wall phone jack. You would use this mounting bracket that comes with it. Go in here on top. So this is one way that you can install. Of course, there are other ways. So let me show you this first. First, open one of the screws. Doesn't matter which one. Make sure, make sure to open the bottom one. A little, not fully, and hold this like this. You see, this is the bottom. Insert it so this goes into the screw hole, and then put this. This is now secure. This will go with these two points that you see here. So we will insert the plug. Somehow manage the wires so they are behind us. Now, now from this side, I can insert it like that. Now this base can hold the phone very easily. You insert it and put it, but. Let me, if you want to remove it, just pull it up. Now, this was inserted at this, at this, at these two. And if you have this kind of uh, mounting plate that is covering wall mount socket and you don't have a plaque, just want to install the phone, you can do so as well. And as here, as you can see, this can go directly on it. So just loosen the screws. And insert this and then pull it down and tighten this. Now this is secured and you can just mount it at the end. These are the long one. So it has been installed and you can leave your phone be charged and if you want to install it on a wall or drywall just put this straight and use a screwdriver to just mark it somewhere at the bottom in both holes here at the bottom and here at the bottom or in both of them at the top doesn't matter and make sure at the right spot just put this and then you can just drill either, either a drill or if it's a drywall just hit it with your uh, with hammer or your hand and it will get ho hold. Then you can put anchors, these anchors, these anchors and the hole that you created on the wall and, and put the screw. And here's the size of the anchor that I used. Thank you for watching. This was the AT&T cordless phone system with a smart call blocker. This is amazing uh, phone. I've purchased it with my own money. I have no affiliation with them. So please thumb up and also make sure to subscribe as I will have a lot of other products review so you can get informed. Call from Robotax. Call from Robotax.